Hey guys, welcome back. So we are on the road again. I think this is episode number five. Can't believe it, we're up to five already. And uh, today we're going up to the first cross train meet in Allentown, Pennsylvania. So this train meet's pretty special to me because it was actually the first train meet I went to. I had just gotten my license in the summer, um, that summer when I was 16 years old. And um, I finally was able to go to a train show and um, I lived up in the Lehigh Valley, that's where I grew up. And so it was the first uh, train meet I actually went to. And actually remember what I got. I got a little box of uh, cattle for my cattle car. I got some milk cans for my milk car. And I got a um, post-war operating dump car. I'll never forget it. I was so happy, so excited. I couldn't believe all the trains. And so yeah, it's been quite a few years since I've been up there. So I'm heading up there now. I'm gonna meet somebody up there from uh, YouTube. And uh, we're gonna hang out, hopefully uh, find some trains, have a good time. And uh, yeah, if you're not familiar with the um, Allentown train meet, um, it's kind of like, um, it's two buildings and they're right next to each other. And it's about the size combined, I think, of like the Orange Hall at York, somewhere around there. But I heard this year it's gonna be packed. They had to turn away vendors. Uh, they didn't have enough tables, so it should be pretty good. So anyway, I'm heading up there right now and I'll see you in a few and we'll check it out. This would be it. Fairgrounds are pretty old. They're one of the oldest in the country, and um, there it is, a TMA train meet. Right over here that you see these red holes. So these two combined are the actual meet over there. Um, we're a little early, we're about a half hour early, but um, we can see if we can go find the breakfast that they're having. But yeah, that's it right there. That's where they hold it. and. Uh, it's already starting to fill up here, so uh, we'll see you in a few. So this line's been going non-stop here for like 10 minutes since they opened the doors, and uh, the parking lot is getting really full. I mean, I was just kind of waiting until the line went down, but it's not going down, so um, looks like it's going to be a huge day here. So just waiting for my friend to get here, and then we'll hit the line, but yep, so far it's been non-stop. People have uh, been going in for a solid 10 minutes now. Trains, trains, trains. They had those, uh, if I had HO, I could really squeeze stuff on my space. I don't know if you work on these engines or you just throw them away and get another one, but imagine the parts are like crazy small.
flight. Actually, that Berkshire is pretty nice too. It's pretty so. sure I put the number six engine in there. The whole set is a special. Do you have a lot of standard gauge stuff or? Oh, well, there's a fair amount. I have um, the locomotive and if the free cars. All right, so you're looking for the green light. Hold on. We're going to have a restart. One second. Sorry. False, false start. <laughs> they didn't know the direction. He, Matthew's never tried it before, so let's just explain. So you're gonna watch for the green light there, and then that's when you can start. Be careful around the curves. Okay, good luck guys. Here we go, train races. Hey guys, so that was an awesome day. I met up with Chris here. We toured around, we bought some trains. Chris got a fantastic set. Um, so look for uh, Chris's trains and things. Get to his YouTube page and look for his video on that because that's going to be a sweet set. I got a bunch of stuff at a great price and I went back in after Chris left just to do one little more tour around and I actually picked up something which is super cool. Uh, it's in the back seat here. It's this big long box and uh, it's for the train room and it's so it's so fun and uh, the guy had them brand new in box and Check out my video on my um, haul from Allentown train show because you'll see that thing and it's so funny So yeah, so that's it for today. It's pouring rain. So it doesn't matter. It's still a fantastic day and I'm heading my way home and then uh, check out my video later on. Hey guys, so that, that was it for the Allentown train show. It was a great show, uh, First Frost uh, train meet. It's uh, twice a year. They have it in obviously November and then they have it in spring. I think last week of February, somewhere around there, it's called Spring Thaw. It's about a 50,000 square foot area and holds about 620 some tables. Really pretty good size. 
And today's show was fantastic. There were every table was filled. There were tons of people there. Everybody was uh, making deals and a lot of great stuff. And if you haven't visited that show, I think sometimes people don't really know how good it is. You might want to check it out because it's a really cool show. They got all kinds of cool stuff there. They got uh, train races where two kids race trains down tracks, and they got um, O gauge and. Uh, HO layouts running and so I actually saw the turbo train uh, that I have downstairs in the box running on the layout uh, before I left so it's kind of funny and yeah so it's a good time up there and uh, check it out next time if you haven't been there before this is kind of what I came back with so you can see I did uh, did get some good stuff unfortunately I didn't get my DCS system with my TIU that I really need so badly but um, there was just none to be had up there at all but I did get a Z4000 transformer at a really good price, which was something I need for another project I'm doing, which I haven't told you guys about yet. Uh, so that's why I, I got that. Uh, I got this engine. Now this was a totally unexpected surprise. I got this engine from the Metropolitan uh, TCA Association group. I'm gonna uh, do a separate video on that. It is so cool. It is the one of the nicest engines I've ever seen and they did a special run on this particular engine so we'll talk about what this one is. I got a couple of, of you notice here some uh, tin plate stuff. I haven't started my videos on this so this is another sort of little secret that's about to be released uh, but I got uh, some stuff with that and I got this. Now Chris from Chris's Trains and Things was with me and he saw me get all this stuff but he didn't see me get this piece because uh, I actually went back inside to talk to the guys who sold me this engine so that when I do the video I get all the information right on it. And um, as I was leaving I picked up this little thing on the way out uh, which is it's so much fun and it's super cool. So I can't wait to show you guys that piece. And then I got this uh, pair of really 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 fine needle nose pliers. Sounds boring but I could have used this when I was doing the Acela traction tires the other day, so I just picked this up just so I have it for the future for any uh, train work. And then, on my way back from Allentown to Delaware, guess where I had to stop? I had to stop at Nicholas Smith, because it's right on the way. The exit's right there. So I stopped at Nicholas Smith, and I actually picked up this little uh, guy right here, which is just a, a simple S1 switcher, and we'll, we'll show you that one too. But this is a Wellington and Western special run by, by Nicholas Smith. And if you're not familiar with that railroad, that's the railroad that's down here by my house uh, that runs uh, called the Wilmington and Western. And they had this special run done. This engine's been sitting up there. I, I don't know. I think he only has one left now after this one. But that's been up there for a while. And um, I never picked it up. And I'm like, you know what? It's part of my local area. And I love engines that, are, that have like... Um, Sort of a history to a local area and stuff so i decided to pick it up while i was there so yeah great day for me uh i'm totally happy and uh, it was a great show so again if you've never been to the on town train show you gotta come check it out it's worth it all right uh that's it for uh this video episode so i will see you guys next time